Yo, what's up? My name is Petrowski, and welcome back to episode 20 of Road to 1 Million from Scratch. That's crazy, I can't believe I'm on episode 20 now, uh, but I'm really excited. Um, well, kind of. I'm not excited for this episode in the fact that this is going to be a pain in the butt. I've been dreading this, I've been putting it off. For whatever reason, it's probably a lot easier than I remember, but man, do I have bad memories of Victory Road, and do I hate this cave more than anything in this game, so I'm definitely not super excited for it, but it's probably going to be easier than I'm imagining. This entire episode is going to be all about getting through this cave. Uh, we're starting with 630k Pokéen. The only Pokéen we'll be gaining this episode is going to be from Trainer Battles, uh, and then an update on the Nidoking. King. Nidoking King hasn't sold yet, but when it does, that'll be huge. If it does, I might lower the price, but we'll see. I think long term, it'll end up selling for 100k. If you don't remember this Nido King, uh, it's a Nido King that I bought for 40k, and I was going to flip it, so it has, you know, special attack, you know, it's EV trained in special attack and speed, and then has pretty decent stats. It's missing the special defense, uh, but that's okay. And then missing nature, but it also is, like, very move set. Like, move setting it like this is pretty expensive. Like, these are all, like, 30k uh, TM, so it's, like, 90k just to move set it. But, anyways... I want to get into this episode and focus on this. I'm going to be watching a guide alongside me and kind of following that uh, while trying to talk to you guys whenever I can. It's going to be awkward to commentate over this, although I do know I need strength for this. And the first thing I have to do is come over here and push this boulder. I'm not sure if I want to use repels for this or not. Actually, I only have... Well, I came into Victory Road with only two small repels. Uh, that kind of sucked. I'm going to go ahead and pop this one now, though. I do want to use them, so I'm going to use strength here, and then I believe I pushed this boulder over to the right. I know a lot of people are playing the storyline through with me uh, alongside this campaign, which is so cool and so beautiful to me. I'm just really fortunate to have uh, people that are that interested in this series and such. I've also been thinking about some other ideas for some similar series uh, that are really intriguing to me. So I push this down, put that on the pressure plate, the little dink noise pops up, and then I honestly don't know where to go from here, so I'll be checking that in a sec. Alrighty, so then I'm supposed to head this way. Oh, I actually can bike in here. I actually totally forgot. So there's a trainer here that I'm not... I was about to say, I'm not sure if I can avoid. I think I just can't avoid that, so walking into that is fine. I think if I... I have to go left here and not right, so I'm going to run into this trainer no matter what. They do have a Rapidash, which is kind of annoying because I'm leading with Blossom at the moment. It's probably better if I lead with Blastoise, I guess, because otherwise it's going to be a bit of a pain. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and Quiver Dance, and I should be able to nature power through this battle decently easily. Oof, yikes. Recoil damage. I wonder... So hopefully this makes me faster than the Rapidash. It'll be pretty close. Because Rapidash is a decently fast Pokemon. Rapidash might still be faster than me. Okay, now I'm faster. What's the... Power Gem's going to be a ground-type attack. That's awesome. Okay. So having Blossom to be able to use ground-type attacks is pretty nice here. Uh, given the environment. Dude, nature... I Dude, once again, man, it all comes down to nature power being an incredibly... Uh, much more useful move than I imagined. Than I could have ever imagined. So once again, power, power Gem should proc... Nice. Okay, anyways, uh, something I wanted to talk about was another idea for a new series similar to this one, but I wanted to address any... I think I don't think anyone's brought this up. I don't think a single viewer or anyone has brought this up to me, but I don't know. I felt a little guilty about this because I feel like in the first episode, I misled... I may have misled some people to think that this series would have been making uh, 1 million Pokey in as fast as possible, um, and it kind of is and it kind of isn't. This series is all about making 1 million Poke Yen, but also, like, being realistic about it and having it be a normal kind of main account playthrough and doing everything a main account should do. Um, if I were to have rushed, you know, 1 million Poke Yen from scratch as fast as possible and done sort of a speed run about it, I would have just rushed Fuchsia City, rushed the uh, Safari Zone, and then just stayed there the entire time. So... I think it's really interesting, though. I think that idea is really interesting. Um, I kind of image... Ooh, fake out. I wonder how much damage that'll do. Okay, whew, close. Um, oh, I hit a normal type gem to increase fake out damage. That's hilarious. I can Giga Drain and yeah, heal some HP back there. Nice. Um, but I had an idea for another series. To anyone who was misled by that fact, um, I had an idea about maybe doing a series where... I do just speed run to 1 million Poke Yen from scratch, and I do it, and I, or at least I try to do it uh, in one sitting. So that would be an extremely long, like, recording session or sitting. That'd probably be... I could have avoided this one, actually. That was a mistake, but... Yeah, that would be extremely long. I'm not sure how long. Um, I don't know if it's 
maybe I'd have to like stop and pause. That would probably be like a 20 hour recording session or something insane. Um, I'd have to get very lucky as well or something. It, it, it would be, it would be a journey is, is the point. So it's something to, it's definitely something I want to consider. I wonder if he'll have a, he'll have a uh, flying gem to increase the power of acrobatics or just have no item. Yeah, he actually did. That's crazy. Okay, the fact that, for those who don't know, flying gem and acrobatics is like a very, very cool PVP strat. Um, I'm gonna throw a brain dance. And what that strat does is acrobatics is a move that has, it's a flying type move that has 50, uh, 55 base power. But if your Pokemon is holding no item, it doubles the base power to 110. So flying gem is a consumable uh, type item that increases the first flying type move you use by 50% uh, and then it's consumed So the way the order of which it operates and the order of operation and the way it procs is that you know You use your acrobatics it consumes the flying gem you get your 50% boost and then it checks for whether you have an item or not so It's insane because you get that 110 base power you need the base power buff on top of the the gem buff Which is so so insane Oh wow, okay, this is actually a tough battle. Why is this battle so hard? Um, I wonder if, there's no way Surf is better here, right? I think that flinch chance on Bite is really important as well. Actually, I think Surf is more damage here. So Surf gets halved. Surf is actually more damage here because of Rain. So I'm gonna Surf. I should have Surfed the first turn. So I would have two hit KO'd with Surf. Yeah, I made a mistake. Am I actually going to die in the second trainer of the Victory Road? God, this is going to be difficult. Okay, I'm going to bring in... Yikes. Probably just Dragonair. I was thinking about bringing in Meowth and getting up like a fake out payday kind of thing, but I actually want the... I just want the XP on Dragonair, so I'm just going to throw up a Dragon Rage. Because I'm probably going to lose this battle, but I really want the XP. I could have used healing items... That's interesting. Raticate. I could have used healing items, but I just don't think that would have been as good. I used Dragon Rage here. I don't know if that's the right play. I feel like there's no way that's the right play. I probably should, I just kind of clicked blatantly or like blankly. It's gonna be faster than me as well. It's gonna double edge. Although this might do a lot of damage to him. Maybe I should have swapped actually. That would have been smart. That recoil damage was like nothing. Wow. Okay, so now I can bring out Meowth and Fake Out. I think I was going to do no damage, though. This thing is... Ooh, is it enough Hyper Potion? Are you kidding me? Okay, this battle is so lost. I can't believe he had Hyper Potion. That's hilarious. I don't want to waste any healing items on this. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and slowly lose this battle. And I have to run all the way back to Victory Road. It's actually such a long run. That's a pain in the butt. Dude, this is going to suck. I'm not looking forward to this, but... Anyways, I'm gonna lose this battle, and I'll see you guys in a sec. This is gonna take me forever to get back here and reset. Okay, here's the whiteout, in case you guys wanted to see it. Rest in peace. I guess I can take this time to go buy some repels really quick from the mart. Actually, this is like a weak mart, though. Yeah, they don't even have repels here. That's hilarious. How am I doing on Pokeballs? I feel like I haven't bought in Pokeballs in a super long time. I mean, I'm fine, I guess. I'm not, I don't have a ton, but... Let me go ahead and head to a better Pokemart. Um, we'll just go Cinnabar. Head to the Cinderella Pokemon, Pokemon, buy some super repels, and I'll see you guys back at the Victory Road. But man, it's going to be a hike back up there. I literally have to go to Viridian and then walk all the way back up again. It's going to be a pain. Okay, I shouldn't need that many. I'm going to get five. Five super repels should be fine. I shouldn't need too many more than that. And then heading back to Viridian, I'll see you guys when I'm back with the spot I was at. Okay, we're back in the cave, and we actually have to redo this rock strat. So I'm going to go ahead and pop a repel. I'll do the small one first. I'll pop a repel, do that rock strat again, and I'll see you guys when I'm really back where I was at. Okay, I think I can actually... Yeah, okay. I can actually just dodge this trainer. This is the guy I died to last time. Okay, I got to check the guide, and I'll be back in a sec. Okay, so I'm going to come south, come down to this boulder. And this is something I could mess up, but it's pretty easy. So all I got to do is go to the left... I think like this come up go down do I, not, do I not have a repel active i thought i had one and then come over here and pop it down like this but if you go too far like to the left and try to go down obviously you get stuck so that's that puzzle taken care of okay now i've got a long route to kind of run through i don't know if i have a repel active or not but it's not telling me there's a trainer up here that i think i can dodge there's a wild encounter Ooh, an ursa ring wild encounter though maybe i'll just try to catch that yeah i would love to try to catch an ursa ring I'm gonna throw up a Giga Drain, I believe. It shouldn't kill. I, I think Giga Drain won't OKO. I'm gonna throw up a Giga Drain and then go for the Sleep Powder. 
and hope to catch. Put it a yellow. Faint attack, sure. I shouldn't do much damage at all. Sleep powder. Sleep powder hits first time. Nice. Okay, and I should be in the clear here. I think I'm just gonna go ahead and throw ultra balls. I think I have what four ultra balls left. I don't think there's any, there's any like super super important encounters coming up that I really need to catch. I don't think so. And I can always come back into this cave. Man, not even close. We woke up immediately. Scary face is fine. Lowers my speed, right? Okay. Uh, I want to take as little damage as possible here. That's like pretty important. Okay, sweet. His move pull is perfect for that. Faint attack, sweet scent. Um. I missed that though. He's doing very little damage to me, which is incredible. Scary face again. Sure, sure, sure. I, this is perfect. I'm, I'm glad I tried to catch him. Oh, the double miss though. Come on. Fate attack doesn't do that much damage. It's fine. I'll probably use some like out of battle, like small heals to heal that up because it's just worth it. I need to be really careful while in this cave. I'm going to have to use, I mean, I want to use as little as possible, but I'm just going to have to use uh, some healing resources while in this cave. I want to be able to make it through and coming back as a pain catch. Okay, perfect. Nice, nice, nice. Only two Ultra Balls, not too bad. I think I have two left. Let's check these Ursa Ring IVs. I wish it would have been male, but that's okay. Bashful, no IVs anywhere to be seen. That's okay. I'm gonna go ahead and he head here. Uh, I have like the fresh water. How I'm missing what, 50 HP? I think 100 out of 151. Um, do I have, I don't want to use Super Potion if possible, even though it's only, I think that's the play though. Yeah, I'll just use a super potion. That's totally fine. And I do have some rare candies to use, uh, and which are my. Ooh, so I, I want to dodge this dude if possible. But yeah, he turned to me immediately. So, whew, okay, wish me luck against this dude. It's crazy how difficult these trainers are, man. I'm having difficulty beating them, let alone the E4 like coming up. <laughs> it's crazy. I'm gonna have to do a lot of grinding and like training before being able to defeat the E4 properly. Not gonna lie. Uh, I'll go ahead and throw up a quiver dance. Maybe I should have sleep powdered first. I feel like the NPCs just switch though immediately if you sleep powder. Super power is going to be a pain. I shouldn't do too- maybe put me like 70%? Yeah, okay. I was say, I shouldn't do too much damage. Um, I'm going to quick dance again just in case. Um, there's no reason really not to. He's not going to be able to do much damage from to me here. JK, he has ice punch. I don't know why he didn't use that the first time. Oh, wow. He got the freeze on Ice Punch. Thank God I have a Lumberry on my Blossom. That saved my butt. Dude, that's crazy. That's a 10... I don't know. Dude, I feel like freeze is always the least common least common uh, effect by far. But it's the most powerful one by far. I think it's still a 10% chance, but it's but it feels like less. I don't know. Getting f someone frozen feels like a 5% chance for whatever reason, but I think it's 10 God, I can giga drain the rest of this fight and leave this fight with full HP. Maybe I should have try attack to test my damage there. I wonder. Okay, I was wondering if he had Machop, Machoke, Machamp. That'd be really funny. This guy's focus ban. Interesting. I'm gonna try to nature power here. This might be a huge mistake because I might take some damage and not okay him. But I want to preserve giga drain PP if possible. I just need to remember to put. Yeah, so it's gonna, I'm gonna two AKO him. He's gonna ice punch me. That's so annoying. What if he froze? That'd be so hilarious. I mean, he'd be. Annoying, but okay. So I'll just two hit KO with that, and then go ahead and put a lumberry back on my blossom and maybe super potion it again. Yeah, it's probably worth it. It's a little annoying, but it's just worth it, man. I gotta play it safe. I don't want to get reset back to Viridian. It's so annoying. Okay, so I'm gonna pop a super repel. I have to do a couple things here. Pop super repel. Put a lumberry there, uh, and then use a super potion. Oh, is that my last super potion? Okay, I'll just, I'll just, that's fine. I'll use the fresh water then. It won't be like at full HP, but it'll be pretty close. Okay, I'm cool with that. And then we can continue our way through this route. I need to come down here all the way around up to this ladder. And then I need to see where to go next. I'll see you guys in a sec. Okay, this is one of the more difficult boulders. So I need to be careful. I could make a mistake and then ruin it. And then I have to restart. But basically... I have to push it up into this line right here, not the top, but like almost there, like right here. And then I need to push it all the way left. Ugh, ugh, ugh. What a tough, <laughs> so funny. Can I bike and push it? Oh, I actually can. Oh, that's sick. Okay. I need to be really careful though. Um, and then I think I go down here, here, here. I'm gonna grab this Pokeball really quick. Ooh, TM overheat. Okay, that's a great Pokeball to grab. Perfect. Definitely knew that and definitely didn't just get lucky. And I think I just go down from here. 
Easy peasy. Okay, that one's sent, and then I have no idea what to do next. One second. Okay, so I've got a bit of a trek. Thankfully, I have repels. I need to dodge this battle if possible. Up one, go over. I can dodge these as well if I come down here. Come over this way, hopefully be out of range. Uh, sure, I'll use another repel, that's fine. Come over this way, I'm like scared to run into trainers. And then I need to push this boulder down here. Oh, I actually already have strength activated. Okay, and then I need to see what I need to do next, one sec. Okay, so I'm almost done. I come down this hole. I continue to push this rock all the way to the left. I need to unlock this ladder. Uh, sorry if doing this alongside a guide was too annoying for you guys. I hope you guys understand and appreciate it. Thankfully, I can speed to push it with the bike. I don't think you can push it with the bike uh, in the traditional games, which is really nice. Uh, and then come over here, dodge this trainer. I only battled, what, one trainer here? There was only one mandatory battle. And then dodge this double battle or that those trainers. Come over here and... A lot of you guys might, I guess I'm going to have to battle this guy. Or is he not a trainer? I don't know. Anyways, a lot of you guys might know there's this area because this is where a lot of people farm uh, post-game because this is, this is you know, where the Elite Four is. Ugh, that felt good. I'm, that was a lot easier than I thought it was going to be, but even though it was a lot easier, it was, like, still pretty difficult and still frustrating slash annoying. Okay. Anyways... I really don't think I'm ready to take on the E4 yet. I think it's just too much. I think I just want to go do some leveling. So what's going to happen is I'm going to end this episode now. Um, and then I'm just, I don't, I don't need a full team I, or I don't, I plan on not, I'm going to try, I'm going to try without a full team. So what's going to happen is I'm going to go heal my Blossom and my Blastoise. Or not heal, sorry. Level them. Jesus, I'm getting so lost and off track. I'm going to go level my Blast Twist and my Blossom uh, off camera. Come back and I will see you guys when I'm trying to really take on the E4 uh, with those two as my main like competitors. Though I'm going to try to carry through the E4 with those two only. And then if that seems undoable, uh, then we'll, we'll go from there. We'll figure out how to problem solve and we'll fix it that way. But anyways, now we have this location fly unlocked, which is absolutely huge. So... I'm going to go and do some farming off camera, farm some levels, and I'll see you guys next episode on episode 21 of Road to 1 Million. Thank you guys so much for joining me. Have an absolutely fantastic day. Uh, like this video if you liked it. Dislike if you didn't. Leave comments, questions, concerns, and feedback in the comment section below. Uh, subscribe for more daily Pokemon content to stay up to date on this series. What else, man? Um... I'm going to catch this Machoke. I mean, that's what else. It's going to be weird because I, I don't really want to catch any Pokemon without the camera being on as well. So I'm, I'm just going to, I'm going to try to just farm, but I'm going to catch some of my first time Pokemon uh, here as well. This is the end of the video though. Anyway, th thank you guys so very much for watching. Subscribe, like, join the Discord linked below. Check out the playlists linked below. Uh, continue to engage in Pokemon content and have fun and have an absolutely fantastic freaking day. I'm going to stall out so I can catch this Machoke before ending episode 20 of Road to 1 Million. And then I'll see you guys on episode Road to, on episode 21 of Road to 1 Million. I wonder what the IVs of this Machoke are. Let's go ahead and see. Dot, dot, dot. Uh, actually, pretty good. I was about to say it's trash and end the episode, but it's actually pretty good. Um, that's actually sick. And it's... Naive nature. This might be a good a good way or a good spot for me to get Pokemon. Awesome. Anyways, I'll see you guys later. Have a great day.